So it looks like the Tesla Model Y, there's a 2023 model, has a software update, 2025.20.3. In the release notes, you can see there are security improvements. So it includes important security fixes and improvements. And 2025.20 is included in this update, supercharging live activity. So now you can view your supercharging session with live activity on your iPhone or paired Apple Watch. Live activity will start automatically as soon as your, your charging session begins. Requires Tesla app version 4.45.0 or newer and iOS 17.2 plus. So this is only an Apple thing. All right, security improvements. This update includes important security fixes and improvements. And then I believe this is old stuff. The alternate trip plans, avoid highways, save trunk. I, yeah, this is, oh, keyboard languages. Keep accessories on. Okay, so I guess they now added the keep accessory power on on the Model Ys and stuff as well. Um, for a while, they disabled that, um, and then they turned it back on. I guess a lot of people were complaining. Um, I think Tesla was saying that people were... I, I'm assuming what was going on is they were giving free supercharging for a lot of people, and they were probably using that to charge up some external battery devices or something. I don't know. Um, with the USB-C ports or something, and I think that's why they ended up disabling it initially, or I don't know if there was a bug in the software, but they probably disabled it initially because of that, and then people complained, so then they <laughs> re-enabled it with that little, now there's a switch. Um, the Cybertruck ended up having that issue for a little while as well, and then they released that update sooner for the Cybertruck. But the Cybertruck also had an option to keep the outlets. It has separate outlets that you can keep those on. And that, at the time, also turned on the accessories. So, technically, if you turn the outlets on, you could keep the USB-C ports on at that time. But now they have a separate thing, the accessory powers for the USB-C ports. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's the new update. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.